So often when we think about lowering our blood pressure, we think it requires a lot of uh, diet, exercise, sure. right? A lot of medication too. And that can help, sure. But the world leaders in heart health care have something else for patients to try. And for more, we welcome once again, Dr. Ashish Saraju, a cardiologist at the Cleveland Clinic. Thanks for being here again. Great to see you. Good morning. Thanks for good having morning. me. Good morning. Let's talk about this. First of all, diet and exercise, those are good things. And those can help blood pressure, right? But there are just some people who can't get over the hump. Absolutely right. No, as, as we know, blood pressure or hypertension, which is elevated blood pressure, it's one of the leading uh, risk factors for strokes, heart disease, and kidney disease. And when someone's blood pressure is elevated, diet and exercise are the fundamental first steps in trying to control it. But as you correctly pointed out, sometimes lifestyle changes are own, although very important, are not enough. Yeah. And then we turn to typically medications, you know, well-studied, very safe and effective medications. And then the idea is to escalate those medications to try to gain blood pressure control. But there are some patients that the medication just doesn't do what it needs to do for them. They might be resistant either to the medication or just they cannot get their blood pressure under control. So this is a procedure that is now FDA approved that you're doing at the Cleveland Clinic that can help especially those people. That's exactly right, correct. So there's a set of patients in whom blood pressure may be difficult to control despite the use of excellent lifestyle measures mm -hmm. and excellent multiple medications. So there's a procedure, it's called renal denervation. It uses ultrasound waves to reduce the activity of the nerves around the arteries that supply the kidneys, the sympathetic artery, it's called the sympathetic nervous system. In simple terms, these nerves play an important role in helping regulate the blood pressure. So using those ultrasound waves to reduce that activity can help reduce the blood pressure. Uh, and for those patients who have trouble controlling their blood pressure despite first-line management and multiple medications, this is an additional tool in our toolbox, is which we can do. Is this an invasive surgery? What does this require? Great question. So it would be classified, I think, uh, best as a minimally invasive procedure. So it's a catheter that goes through an artery, typically the artery in the leg, mm -hmm. where the, uh, the specialist, the procedural specialist, would essentially have that catheter travel up to the renal arteries and deliver those ultrasound waves. So it's not a surgery, it's more like a minimally invasive procedure. So common sense would, to me, would say, well, that, that should be something you could do in the heart area. So why the kidneys? Why are, they, why are they so integral to that situation? Great question. So blood pressure, you know, is controlled by a variety of different things in the body, but the kidneys and the nervous system play some of the most important roles in regulating the blood pressure. Uh, so the kidneys, the adrenal glands, and the nerves in our body, especially the sympathetic nervous system, plays a very important role. And so this procedure targets one of the components of that system that regulates blood pressure. It's fascinating, right, yeah. how it's yeah. all connected. So would better kidney health help with people's blood pressure then? Great question. So kidney disease is in fact a risk factor for high blood pressure and vice versa. High blood pressure hmm. can then worsen kidney disease if uncontrolled. Hmm. So kidneys, the heart, the kidneys, the nervous system, lifestyle, these are all inextricably linked in blood pressure management. Doctor, before we let you go, who would be a candidate for this procedure? Who would not be beneficial a candidate? Excellent question. So uh, I think an appropriately selected patient would be somebody who has known blood pressure and in whom blood pressure control has been challenging despite the use of multiple medications and this can serve as an additional tool potentially to consider to try to control them. What I don't think this is, is a first line therapy to mm -hmm. replace the need for lifestyle or any medications. But it's not an age thing. It's not that if you get to be a certain age, you wouldn't qualify or it wouldn't work for you. It's okay, as you mentioned, it's not major surgery. Are you under general anesthesia or a light kind of twilight? Yeah, light kind of twilight mm. usually, but it's not a, as you correctly pointed out, it's not a major surgery. I mentioned the name of the procedure one more time, of course. It's called renal denervation. And people can talk with their doctors about it if they have any questions, too. Absolutely. That's awesome. We appreciate right, it. So much. Yeah, yeah, that's fascinating. Fascinating stuff. Doctor, thank, thank you. Thank you thank always you come much. with such great information, but this could be the key in truly saving lives for some people. No doubt. That's awesome. Thank yeah, you so much. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank appreciate you very much. Thank happy you. Thanksgiving, guys. Thank you.